This week in Drone News, we have three stories for you. The first one is a question whether Amazon fired someone for voicing safety concerns about the drone program, a new world record for the fastest drone, and yes, it was pretty fast, and then lastly, a drone that was used to locate a stranded boater. Let's get to it. We'll start this week with a former Amazon manager who claims that he was fired because of raising safety concerns about the drone delivery program. Uh, his name is Chetty Sket. He says that uh, there was no onboarding process for new employees working on the drone project, and also that he witnessed multiple crashes, including one that started a brush fire, which I think we actually may have reported on back then. Uh, he also said that tests were commonly conducted on partially inoperative equipment, uh, such as laptops that had broken keyboards, or even less than having a full team. Uh, last year, we reported on the fact that Amazon claimed that they didn't need to tell the FAA about certain accidents and then instead that they would be able to investigate the accidents themselves. Now, I have to say this is a little bit concerning uh, with as many flights as Amazon is predicting to do in the airspace. Uh, I certainly hope that uh, this is something that the FAA is going to look into. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Your second story this week is a real fast drone, and I really mean it. Uh, the old record actually for fast the fastest FPV drone was set in 2017 by DRL, and it was 163.5 miles per hour, which is booking. Uh, the new record shatters the old one at 224. Now you can see the video playing in the background, or you maybe may not be able to see it because it goes so fast. And while it doesn't look like much, that drone was actually uh, topping out at 235 miles an hour. Uh, the, the record is actually the average between the two fastest runs, so back and forth, they average it out and then they figure it out. But uh, uh, yes, you, you may be wondering, uh, Park 107 does have limits. Uh, the, the speed limit is 100 miles per hour, uh, which uh, that piece of regulation is actually waivable. Now, we couldn't verify that there was indeed a waiver for this specific flight, but it is a possibility. Your third story this week is a good one. It's short, but a fire department in Washington state used a thermal drone in order to locate somebody that was lost uh, in Liberty Bay on the boat, uh, while the boat was disabled in this case. They experienced a mechanical failure, and then they were lucky to be able to call for help. Now, this is a great example of how drones can be used to save life and make life, everybody's life, a little bit better. So that's it. That's all we have for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, get this. <laughs> I'm, I'm not mad I'm disappointed. <laughs>